Hello, Marco Bobay. I'd like to welcome you all to our channel, Top Top Channel. So, sana yung lahat ay nasa mabuting kalagayan. Already. So, today, uh, I will uh, be sharing with you yung apat na quadrants na dapat ay pagtuunan natin ng pansin. Okay? Because most of people are, you know, neglecting that. And this is very important. Okay? So, ano yung four quadrant na sinasabi natin? Okay? So, yun po ang pamamaraan kung paano tayo mag-survive sa buhay. Okay? Now, like me, I am based in Canada right now. I'm living a good life. I'm living the dream. But it doesn't stop me from you know, achieving my goals in life. Okay. Number one kasi, kailangan klaro sa atin yung goal natin, mga goals natin sa buhay. Like, financially, ano ba yung gusto mong ma-achieve? Okay? Physically, ano yung kailangan din natin ma-achieve? Kompleto yan eh. Spiritually, ano ba? Uh, mentally, dapat ano tayo? well-rounded, okay? Lahat ng uh, aspects sa buhay natin ay nag-grow. Yun ang tinatawag natin na personal development, okay? So ngayon, I'd like to share with you guys kung ano yung mga multiple income streams na pwede natin i-consider, okay? And why am saying that? Okay, why I, okay, bakit ko to, you know, sinishare sa inyo? Okay? So, ang reason yan is, <clears throat> dapat isa sa mga goal natin kung saan ba tayo? Sa top 100, top 99 of the population, or you have to aim higher, okay? Uh, top 5, top, top 3. Yun dapat ang i-consider natin ang mga goal. Bakit? Okay. Ganito kasi yan. Uh, when I was in in the early years uh, employment ko, okay, I, ran, I ran into a, a, a nice book. Uh, rich Dad, Poor Dad. Okay. Ito yung tinatawag na cash flow quadrant. And little did I know, kasi hindi kasi tinuturo yun sa seminaryo at saka sa university. But little did I know na yung libro na yun ang nagagayad sa akin. Okay. And way back in the Philippines, ang background ko ay nasa pharmaceutical sales. Okay. Isa po, akong, isa po ako sa mga top 10 nationwide or top 3 of the sales representative performing, okay, every single year, okay. And as a result, I became so popular in my territory, okay, and that was Cebu City. Okay. So 2005, we decided to move to Canada. And then, sa sa mga pangarap ko na makahanap din ako ng trabaho, Okay. <laughs> so, as an employee, nasa cash flow quadrant yan. Okay? In, in, the, in the layman's term kasi, yung cash flow quadrant, apat yun na pamamaraan kung paano tayo o saan nang galing yung income, okay? yung pera. How money is created. Okay? Number one, employed. Just like me. Normal yun, di ba? We were taught to go to school, get good grades, yeah? and pagkatapos yan, mag-apply ng trabaho, and nothing else. And even school, siguro, you will agree with me na pag nag-graduate ka, siguro ilang percent lang sa atin na yun talaga ang profession mo, di ba? 
uh, ilang percent din sa mga subjects na magagamit mo in the real world. Diba? Parang outdated yung ano, system natin sa school. Hindi mo pa na, uh, na, natanong sa sarili mo yan. Right? And a book like this is like parang Bible din ito eh. Parang guide din natin sa buhay, no? sa financial. Okay, tingnan mo. Yung as an employee, to explain this, four quadrants, no? apat na pamaraan, para itong kaliwa at sa kanan. Okay. Dito sa kaliwa, you will notice na nandyan yung E. E represents employee, right? Anong empleyado? Uh, obviously, you have a job. Okay. Now, siguro 20 years ago, if you have a job, very secure yun, di ba? Uh, a lot of people. And maybe our parents, siguro, kung ngayon ay kay mga 25 years old, mapapansin mo, yung parents mo parang okay yung, ano, yung employment nila, diretso, di ba? But, Kung ikaw ngayon ay mga siguro 50 years old, titingnan, ah, no, not 50, 25 years old, ma, titingnan mo yung parents mo, nalileo. Siguro hindi lang isang beses, kundi baka sampung beses, di ba? Palipat-lipat ang trabaho. So, that would, you know, signal the insecurity, you know, of the E quadrant, which is employment. Okay? Now, ngayon, if you rely on job right now, papansin mo, Pag may mga pandemia, mayroon mga pangyayari, magre-react naman yung mga companies. Nagkakat sila ng mga tao, kaya mangyayari yung layoff. Di ba? Sa lugar mo, sa lugar dito, sa buong ban- uh, mundo, nangyayari yun. Yan yun. So, yung E, siguro mga 95% of people are you know, uh, generating income through employment. Kaya ngayon, kung titingnan mo yung mga tao, di sila basta-basta makapagbakasyon. In one year, siguro magbabakasyon yan. Mga, meron silang three weeks, four weeks, swerte ka na pag may five weeks ka, di ba? Tapos, wala kang control sa buhay mo, gusto mong magbakasyon, wala. Ito pa ang pinakamasakit. Wala kang control sa pera mo. Kasi, wala eh, kulang eh. Puno ka sa utang. If you notice, you have only 8 hours a day. Yeah. Dagdagan mo man yung oras mo, dagdagan mo rin yung time mo away from your family. So kung napapansin mo, uh, your income is totally independent from the hours na nagtatrabaho ka. So time, di ba? Because time equals money. So no matter what you do, as long as you are, you stay in that quadrant, ano yun? Walang, wala kang masyadong freedom, wala kang masyadong control sa buhay mo. Siguro utang, kaliwa at sa kanan, di ba? Mapapansin mo, sweldo ngayon, kinabukasan, negative ka na. Okay? Alam mo naman, it's a human nature na meron tayo mga pangar, aspirations sa buhay. Di ba? Uh, gusto tayo mag-travel, gusto natin mabayaran yung utang, gusto natin magpagawa ng malaking bahay, gusto natin mag-drive ng magagandang sasakyan, gusto natin kumain ng masarap na pagkain, pumunta doon sa mga magagandang restaurants. And yet, you have only one source of income. Okay? Now, the question is, how are you gonna afford that? Okay? So, wala kang ibang paraan kundi mapilitan kang kaskasin yung card mo. Diba? Hanggang sa mapuno ka ng utang, yung credit score mo ay mawala na, at saka dalawa na lang ang option mo doon, kundi you fight through it or you let the you let your day run you over, right? Parang wala ka na ng pag-asa and that's it, okay? Wala ka ng dream, end of the world, okay? Now, another source of income, yung tinatawag natin na self-employment. Okay, self-employed. Ano yun? Uh, ito po yung isang trabaho na medyo may stress. Saka, if you work harder, you're gonna get paid. Kasi, ano eh? 
parang equal yung ano mo, equal yung effort mo at saka yung pera mo. Okay. Isa sa mga example dito, uh, yung doktor, yung mga abogado. Okay. If they work harder, they get paid. But if they don't work, if they don't show up, man, wala. Wala silang income. Okay. Wala silang security. But, Self-employed is a little bit better than employment. Why? Because the room nila na makakaroon ng malaking income ay malaki. Okay? Unlike employment, you work eight hours, that's it. Man. Your income relies on your rate per hour. But as a self-employed, oh, you can earn a lot of money for sure. But again, there are times too that you don't earn money, especially if you don't work, if you don't show up, right? So yun yun, you own a job. And that's what it is, okay? Now, if you have noticed itong employment at saka self-employed, these are the people that only believe in you know, working hard, okay? What they forgot to check or C is that the power of leverage, okay? Di nila alam yan, okay? Ang leverage lang nila is when they ask people, you know, to go to work with them and move them around. And that's leverage too, right? But what if you are in a situation where you train the people, okay? You give them education and later on, they're going to be working for you. And that's leverage, okay? That's the definition of leverage, okay? Now, let's take a look at the B quadrant. Ano yun? B quadrant is a business owner. Now, mind you, when I was a, uh, when I was not a kid, but when I run, when I, when I read this book, a lot of people believe that if they're doing business, like in the restaurant, running a restaurant, ra ra restaurant, or, or, or a farm or something, they thought that. I mean, they are already in the big quadrant, okay? But what they forgot is that if there is no leverage in the things that you're doing, then you are not. Then it's it, it is considered as self employment okay yeah now b business ownership is used why you are hiring people to work for you you are recruiting people you know you have this human resource department recruiting people to work for you okay once they work for you you leverage you know from their time from their effort and that is the true meaning of business ownership, business owner, okay? You own a system and people work for you. So that what it is, business, okay? Now, if you look around, one of the example of the business ownership is like, if you own a store, a big store, okay? And then, you are there not to work, but you're there to, to check, okay? And let these people work for you. You hire people like a manager and manage your business. And yet, you can afford to stay home and enjoy your life and live your life. And that is the true definition of business ownership, okay? Now, why is it that you, will, you can afford to stay home and not work? Because you have people working for you. And that is business ownership. Example, uh, in the Philippines, sino yung may-ari ng gaisano or SM, di ba? Minsan na lang sila magtatrabaho, what they are worrying is their money, okay? Is, uh, is there any form of what? Maganda ba ang takbo? You know, yung procurement natin, budgeting natin, Yung gastos natin, okay ba? Balance, balance ba yung papel natin dyan? Di ba? Uh, money out at saka money in, okay ba? 
<laughs> are we are we improving so yun na ang iniisip nila okay hindi na yung kung ano yung talagang income dito na ano yung dapat ngayong araw bukas tayo okay these people these people can afford to close everything and yet they are still going okay they're still enjoying life so yan yung business like if you own an airline say for example it's a huge right you are hiring people to to work for you right so that's what it is okay now another example here is those people that they said uh working in pyramid scheme or something like that or scam people no uh, i mean a lot of people that don't know uh got curious about this but in the latest you know generation okay right now uh this form of marketing like network marketing or multi-level marketing is considered as business ownership why it is because you have less capital yes but if you manage to grow your business like you hire or recruit a lot of people that will work for you now it depends on the job if the job is to sell a certain products you hire people and sell the products and give them commissions through commissions i mean it's big in the united states or in canada you know you hire people like say for example real estate agent they were managed by a broker okay and that's a concrete example of big business now business owners you hire people let them work and you get a little bit you know from them from the result of their effort okay and that's a, a great example is a, the real estate industry. Why? Because if you're a broker, you have the ability to hire sales agents, okay? And once the sales agents close the deal by selling homes, you get the commission. They get a commission, and then you get a piece of that commission. And that is an example of that. Now, network marketing, for example, is you hire leaders, okay? And these leaders, uh, uh, you train them and then they're training these people to do a certain job it could be selling water selling uh, healthier coffee selling something else that products that are performing very well and unique okay if they do good at it they will you know earn a lot of money now another example here uh so business ownership is you JC Premier, okay? But we will talk about that later, okay? Because I don't want to uh, uh, to discuss about a specific company because of, you know, because I'm here in this platform, okay? I, ano tong I? Investment. Ano naman to? Well, you let your money works for you, okay? Now, another, one example in the, old, in the olden days is like, if you have one million, you put it in a bank, and shall we say the bank will give you two percent, then that will be enough to help you enjoy life, right? Because they're gonna give you your profit from your investment or from your money, and that is okay. Okay. Now, another thing too, do you know, guys, that <laughs> investors to be an investor right now is easier than what you think about okay now the world has changed and because of so many offerings around us okay that poor people majority of poor people because of you know their experiences because of where they're coming from they thought that it's always a scam you know if something is presented to me, so it's a scam. No, it's your ignorance, to be honest. Okay, why won't you take a look at it? Okay, and then evaluate. Okay, and that is the reason why a lot of people are really, really poor. Okay, they may not look like poor people, but their bank account is like, you know, 
shallow. <laughs> okay? And the reason why, because they are close-minded people. They are people that live in the past. They are people that are, you know, hesitant. They are people that know, you know, they don't take risk. And most of all, they don't study and they don't think. That's sad in our society right now. It's sad. Even in the Bible, a lot of people are, are like that. They don't believe, okay, about the preaching. They don't even, they don't have this ability to actually think, is it really good or not, right? And that's why a lot of people are poor, struggling right now because of their mindset. They have this poor mindset. Wow. Yeah. So let's get back to investors again. Okay. I am 46 years old right now. And when I was 42, I just found out that I can be an investor even if I don't have money, minimal amount of money, believe it or not. Wow. And I was, I'll be able to grow my money little by little. Okay. Now, in today's session, okay, I'm going to answer this question because uh, I was in a meeting last week and a lot of my students asked me about what do you do as an employee or uh, as a self-employed, what do you do? Or do you have a business that represents the B or do you have a business that represents the I? So it's so crazy to you know, to, to listen into these questions, but I understand. You know why? These are legit type of questions. They're real life scenarios, real life questions, okay? Inquiries, okay? Now, without question, let me answer that, okay? So as an employee right now, uh, I work as a, a specialty sales rep in one of the international companies. Okay, a multinational company here in the United States, okay? So what is it in the Philippines? Uh, medical representative, okay? But it's a little bit higher because it's not uh, an ordinary rep, okay? Uh, there's a one level, you know, higher. So that's where I am right now, okay? So I am in E, okay? Now in, <laughs> dito kasi, Tinatawag nila anong income level. So, sinasabi kong, ano, maganda siya. Six figure, okay? But I'm not gonna say it here. Six figure din siya, okay? It's not bad, okay? So, self-employment, I don't have that because I represent the E, okay? Now, when I was laid off in 2015, okay? <laughs> this is a good story. I did not even consider self-employed, okay? Self-employed is like you work in a construction, okay? And then offer your expertise. But I don't have expertise like that, okay? My job is not, I don't have any experience in a blue collar job. So it's all in the office. It's all in, in you know, in, in a nice, you know, looking environment, uh, good environment. So that's, that's why I don't have experience in the self-employment, okay? Now, when I was let go in 2015, I decided to put up my own company. And this company is, I, I formed it, I founded that. It's about hiring people and work in a farm, okay? Now here in our territory, in our area, we have the, a lot of greenhouses here. So I decided to, to be a contractor in a lot of companies. So, and I supply people, okay? I hire people work in the company, uh, I help them, you know, drive around, you know, uh, drive, provide, you know, transportation from their house to the, to the facility, from facility to their houses, okay? So that's what I did. And, oh, I earned a lot of money from that. I would say easy 5,000 a week, dollars, easy money. But my problem is because I don't want to, get in trouble about tax and everything, right? So I have experience in this business, okay? But before that, I, I venture in a multi-level marketing, uh, level marketing or network marketing, yeah, uh, to give 
give me an access in their product and services. And that's what I did. So we have Healthy Coffee. In fact, I am one of the owner of the company here in, in America. Uh, I have ownership of the company. I, it's still running and it's still going strong. Maganda ang, you know, ang takbo <laughs> ng negosyo. And that's about product, you know, uh, helping people, you know, creating better lives. And that's awesome. Okay. I don't have, I don't have any negativity about that. It's all positive. We have maybe more than 3,000 distributors in Canada. And believe it or not, happy customers too. Okay. So what else? Yon, kanina na mentioned ko, I was part of the JC also world because I got attracted about restaurant business. Okay. So as you can see, I am the person that cares about people and at the same time that cares about multiple streams of income. Right? So I got the restaurant business and the good thing it's online because it's pandemic here, right? My offering kasi na dumating. So I grabbed the opportunity, okay? And then, my dumating ulit, which is ano yun? Online delivery, right? You know, dumating yung tukto. So I got, I grabbed the opportunity and here we go. I got the business. Uh, Hiring writers, you know, to help deliver stuff, you know, in the Philippines. So I got that. What else? Uh, I made sure that there is always leverage because once you understand this book, guys, you will never spend, you know, or you will make sure that all the business that you are in should have a leverage feature. If you don't have leverage, man you're wasting your time. It's the same as employment, you know, there's no leverage. So make sure you have leverage, okay? So I got that, what else? Oh, weight loss. I got into the weight loss industry too. Why? Because before I was 250 pounds and I wanna look better, okay? I wanna stay healthy. So I got, I got that. And that's because of these companies that I mentioned to you guys, okay? So now, recently, I had another opportunity in the investment side of it, okay? And this is the largest business in the world, okay? And that's what we call financial market. What is it? The Forex market, okay? Uh, binary Forex, cryptocurrencies, and everything like that. It is actually in the investor side. I let my money work for me and it blows me away, okay? Can you believe that your 10,000 pesos, mahimo na, ano ba to? <laughs> you can actually grow that to 3 million pesos in just a year. And how could you do that, okay? Well, that represents the E. And that's the reason why it is very possible. Yeah? Now, my question is, can you make your delivery service, say, for example, a coffee business, uh, can I help you create or grow into a million in just eight months? Maybe, right? Maybe. But if you have money, like, 200 USD or 10,000 pesos. Come on, guys. You can actually use that for your investment. Okay? Now, if you're interested to learn more about this, the things that I, I know, I am willing to, you know, uh, provide guidance or suggestions for you guys. It's all up to you. I mean, I'm here for business. I'm here to help out. I'm here to help you guys change the way you think. And hopefully that will help you become a better person. That will help you become a better, you know, a person with a better life and will be able to help other people as well. Okay. Now, I think uh, that's about it. Okay. And I will see you on my next uh, video. Okay. 
uh, on my next video, I'm planning to show you my account, okay? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if I will, but yeah, if it's safe to do so, yeah, uh, I don't, I won't hesitate to show it in that way. Uh, it will serve as a guide for you guys as well, okay? And thank you very much. And I hope I provided you a little bit of value there. And uh, uh, so you guys, as a, as a, as a, spira, uh, as a person that's uh, aspiring you know, to grow your, your own business and to create a better life also for yourself and your, for your family, uh, stay tuned. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. Now, hopefully, we'll be able to provide more value to you guys, OK? Uh, comment also below uh, what kind of topic that you want me to talk about, you know. Now, in any business, uh, there is always a conversation about, you know, how you can grow your business, how you can find prospects, and what are the latest right now that most of these people are, are using. Now, in America, what are they doing? How they market their opportunity and business? So there's a lot of things that we can do. So please subscribe and stay tuned and see you soon. Have a nice day. Have a great day, people.